Time for our next topic. Mm. Uh, money makes the world go round. Some say, well, if money has caused the world to head in the wrong direction, can it make the world right? With us now is Maria Mal. Maria Mal is director of Arabesque. And Maria, you will be presenting what impact the financial community can have. Let's see if we can see and hear you. Maria? Are you there? <coughs> No, this is, <laughs> we're still in Nigeria, I think. Or are we? They am Hello, Maria. Oh, there you are. Can you hear us, Maria? Everybody's got the white walls. Maria, can you hear, can you hear us? us? I can hear you. All right. Yes. Hello. Good morning and good afternoon uh, to everyone in Stockholm and all around the world. Uh, my name is Maria Mal. I'm the director of Arabesque. We're an asset manager and a sustainability data analytics firm. And I'm so pleased to be talking um, in the action segment of, of, of this conference, as we've heard a lot of our uh, previous speaker talking about the importance of taking action and what can be done and what we can do as individuals, but also what the large institutions can do. And coming to the, to the part where finance can play a role, uh, we're now at the stage in time where finance can actually act as a catalyst uh, to drive um, action in the climate action space. Hmm. So that's what I'm going to talk about, a little bit about how um, institutions uh, can act towards that, pension funds, but also you as individuals uh, can do that. Sounds and um, I wanted to, yes, I wanted to start with. Now, let's see. She's yeah. about to bring up the presentation we need to say to the viewers. Share the screen. Yes. There we are. There it is. Yes. Perfect. So um, I wanted to ask to start with. Uh, it's just a couple of years old now there where we know that um, where um, where finance can actually play a role. And I'm just going to find my right. Here we go. Maybe. Nope. Just give me a second here. Because this is an this is an important piece here that I'm going to talk about right now, and it's about how um, how in the past couple of years we finally have what we thought for a very long time, uh, even in the finance community, uh, sustainable investing is something that's been around for about 20 years, and that is looking at ethical investments, how you don't you choose not to invest in. Uh, fossil fuels, nuclear, etc. But for the past couple of years, we've also been able to confirm uh, the business case, um, that is the performance between corporations who perform well on sustainability areas that are important to the core business and sustainability and out of itself and how that can actually drive uh, performance of how, how corporations are operating uh, the risk, the cost of capital, and also their shareholder value. So we now know that it can actually be profitable to for corporations to focus on the sustainability issues, as well as it is for, for people who want to invest their money smarter. So today, there's a good chance that you can actually make money uh, when you integrate and look at how an investing corporations that are doing better. And that is something that is fairly new um, and just just grown over the past couple of years. And that's what we at Arabesque are doing. We're integrating and looking at these corporations who are not just performing well financially, but are also uh, performing well to all the different stakeholders of the world, the environment, social issues, and, and governance issues. And that's also been driving by what we as people are, I mean, just us having this conference today is showing that there's an awareness of these issues and how important they are. So at the same time, where we know that this now can be actually good for corporations to, to not just do well financially, but also care about sustainability issues, we now have an increased pressure from, from individuals, from investors are starting to know, well, I don't want to invest in, in, in corporations or I don't want to invest in mutual funds. They're also investing in, in fossil fuels or corporations that are not good in, in waste water management or, or water management or are not energy efficient. So there are a couple of trends, and I mentioned two of them 
uh, first of all, how society is now pushing. The, the more data we have, the more transparencies, transparency um, people are looking at, how their corporations are performing, their, their portfolios, their pensions. Um, the more we know that they're going to put pressure on investment firms to invest better as well. And that is driven by um, a surge in, in millennials caring about this issue. So if you ask millennials today how they want to make their money that they invest, not only, want to, not only do they want to do well, but they also want to make sure that their investments are doing well to the society, to the environment and climate change. So... Uh, we now know and we see that trend, and that's also why sustainable investing is one of the biggest financial trends of the past few decades in this industry. We have about a 12 to 15 percent growth uh, on an annual basis in Europe. Um, they've been doing this for a long time, and now Asia and the U.S. is also is also waking up. But it also has to do with increased regulation on how to um, how corporations and investment firms are are also doing their regulations and what they're disclosing in their in their reports and what they have to focus on. So for instance, in Europe and in Sweden, there are very high standards on what you need to report on from a, an environmental and social, social aspect. So what this all boils down to is that now you can, as an individual, also drive change in this in this area. The, the role of finance in the world is to allocate capital. And we now have the tool to make sure that we allocate capital towards the corporations who are the most sustainable um, in the world, who are driving action also in the climate change area. So it's up to us uh, to put pressure on, on investment companies, pension funds, and we can direct our money, the capital, to drive change in this world. Happy to answer any questions you might have later. Thank you. Some scientists are indicating we should make plans to adapt to a four degree hotter world. Business as usual means about four degrees warmer, which is approximately one ice age in the opposite direction. Based on today's temperatures, we are going to hit two meters of sea level rise, no matter what. We are in a race against time. It takes a double whammy to understand. It takes repeated shocks. We need a global movement that demands real change. We don't have time to speculate. We don't have time is absolutely correct. As we know, we don't have time. There's no more time. Yes, we don't have time. We use the hashtag. We don't have time. We don't have much time. We don't have time to wait.